Now we are going to see constraint optimization and Lagrangian multiplier. Okay, that means if you want to optimize a function, suppose uh, we want to uh, find the minimum value for the cost uh, with respect to a particular parameter. Uh, along with that optimization, we may have some constraints also. So uh, that is why we call it as constrained optimization. The general constraint optimization task is, is to maximize or minimize a function f of x by varying x given certain constraints of x. So in, in, in machine learning, we try to minimize the cost function by varying the weight and bias. Okay. So for example, uh, design fastest vehicle with a constraint on fuel efficiency. So we have to find out, we have to maximize the speed of the vehicle. We have to design a vehicle with the maximum speed. Okay, so we have to maximize it with a constraint on fuel efficiency. All constraints can be converted to two types of, uh, con uh, or we can consider all constraints in one of the two categories. One is equality constraints and second one is inequality constraints. Equality constraints we can uh, assume like this. For example, minimize the function f of x1, x2, x3 subject to x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 1. So here we have an equality condition. Okay, so we have to minimize the function f. But when we minimize the function f, this constraint or this condition, this equality condition should be satisfied. So that is equality constraint. So this is the constraint. And second one is inequality constraints. So we have the function f. We want to minimize f, f of x1, x2, x3. Subject to the constraint, x1 plus x2 plus x3 should be less than uh, one. So this is an inequality condition. So uh, this is a inequality constraint. The canonical, canonical form of the minimization problem can be given as follows: minimize f of x subject to the constraint that x belongs to S. So S is the set of constraints. Okay, uh, S such that uh, S is a set for all x. Uh, such that for all i g i uh, of x is less than or equal to 0. Here this g of x represents the constraint functions, constraints. Okay, if we have the two constraints, we will have we will have g1x and g2x. Okay, if we have three constraints, we will have one more constraint g3x like that. Okay, so here we have only g1x. Okay, this is g1x. This is also g1x. Okay, we can have similarly we can have multiple constraints also. So this constraint problem can be converted into unconstrained one. So this constraints can be converted to unconstrained functions using generalized Lagrangian function. So it is represented like this capital L of x lambda. So we enter x was the variable in our function that has to be minimized or maximized. And we add one more variable called lambda, and that is called the uh, Lagrangian multiplier, which is equal to we convert f of x into an unconstrained function. f of x is actually a constrained function or constrained problem. We can we are going to convert it into unconstrained. So uh, how do we write it? We write as f of x plus the constraints are added as a term uh, to this function. Okay. So sigma i equal to 1 to m, assume we have m constraints, okay. So we will have lambda i into g i x, okay. Suppose we have uh, two constraints, g1 x and g2 x. So we add uh, a lambda uh, value here, that is this is lambda 1 and lambda 2, corresponding to g1 we have lambda 1 corresponding to g2 we have lambda 2 these are the lagrangian multipliers so this one will be the sum of these two lambda 1 g1x plus lambda 2 g2x okay similarly if you have m 
constraints, you have to find the sum of those m terms. Okay, so this is an unconstrained uh, representation of this f of x without a constraint. So remember, we add an additional term called the Lagrangian multiplier with this along with our variable x. And this uh, summation term we can rewrite like this in the matrix format lambda transpose. Okay. Into g of x. Lambda is the Lagrangian multiplier. So let's take an example. Suppose f of x y is equal to x square plus y square. And this is the function we have. We want to minimize or maximize. And subject to x plus y is equal to 10. That is the constraint we have. So we call this as a, an objective function. Uh, objective function is the function for, uh, which we want to maximize or minimize. And this is the constraint. And the constraint function is uh, uh, will be written like this. Equal to 0 format. That is uh, x plus y minus 10 is equal to 10. This 10 we take it uh, to the left hand side. And uh, the unconstrained function will be written like this with the capital F of x, y, lambda. So we add the additional lambda over here. Okay. Then x square plus y square. This is the f of x, y part. Okay. This is f of x, y um, function plus lambda into. Uh, we have only one constraint. So we have only one lambda and one uh, g of x. So this is g of x. This is g of x, x plus y minus 10. So x plus y minus 10. We substituted it here. Okay. Now we have to find out um, the minimum value, or we want to minimize this f, and we have to find out the x y value which minimizes this f. Okay. And uh, in addition to that, uh, it has to satisfy this x and y value should satisfy this constraint also. When you add this x y value, it should give you 10. Okay, these two conditions should be satisfied. The x y value, uh, that should give you the minimum f. And at the same time, its sum should be 10. So we are going to find out those x y values. So first we have to take the derivative dou f by dou x so with respect to x we take it will give you 2x plus lambda then dou f by dou y uh, when you apply this on this function you will get 2y plus lambda then dou f by dou lambda it will give you x plus y minus 2 and we assign all these to 0 that means in order to find the minimum position this uh, first derivative should be 0 so uh, we assign the 0 to all these okay for minimum f of x so the first equation is 2x plus lambda equal to 0 second equation 2y plus lambda equal to 0 and the third equation x plus y minus 10 is equal to 0 now we have to solve these three equations to find out the value of x y and the lambda so when you find one when you take this equation one you get x is equal to minus lambda by 2 when you take the second equation you get y is equal to minus lambda by 2 and substitute this x y value in, in the equation 3 you get minus lambda by 2 minus lambda by 2 is equal to 10 okay so that means lambda is equal to minus 10 so we got the value of lambda you can substitute it in equation 1 and 2 to get the value of x and y so when you substitute it in 1 you get x is equal to 5 and when you substitute it in uh, equation 2 you get y is equal to 5 so the value of x and y are uh, 5 5 so that the function is minimum and at the same time it satisfies the constraint x plus y is equal to 10 okay so the function gets this function get a minimum value when the x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 The Lagrangian duality, converting optimization problem in one set of variables. So we have said, we have seen some functions f of x or f of x y. Okay. So here the variables are x and here the variables are x and y. Okay. We can convert this optimization problem to another optimization problem with a different set of variables called the lambda. Okay. 
so instead of x and y we can uh, use the lambda variables and these lambda variables are called the dual variables and that is Lagrangian duality for example optimization problem minimize x, uh, f of x with x subject to the constraint g i of x less than or equal to 0 for all i equal to 1 to m this is called the primal problem so this is the constraint problem we have and uh, this is called the primal problem and x is called the primal variable and uh, the associated Lagrangian dual problem that means we instead of x we have to use the variable lambda so we write it uh, the Lagrangian dual problem with the capital D so that is represented like maximize lambda um, maximize lambda for D of lambda subject to lambda greater than or equal to 0 so this is our new problem with a, a different variable lambda okay so in the previous function we have the variable x so this is replaced with the dual variables okay. so d, d of f, uh, lambda will be minimize l of x lambda so l of x lambda is the unconstrained function for f of x so the constraints are added in lambda uh, there are two types of uh, properties here minimax inequality and weak duality minimax means uh, we can uh, reduce the features um, th this inequality should be satisfied when we try to minimize or maximize some parameters max y uh, of min y of max y min minimize x for psi uh, x y it will be less than or equal to min x or max y psi of x y okay then weak duality says that primal values should be greater than or equal to dual values okay we can add equality constraints in our problem uh, in the previous case we have seen inequality constraints so we can uh, this is the problem we have minimize f of x subject to the constraint that x belongs to s s is the set of constraints like uh, uh, set of, uh, s is equal to set of x for all uh, i g i of x is equal to 0 this is the equality constraints this is the uh, set of inequality constraints and this is the set of in inequality okay so this is equality and this is inequality constraints so we can consider both and when you um, uh, write it into the unconstrained form we are adding two different dual variables one is for um, uh, equality uh, constraints and one for inequality constraints and uh, it will be written like f of x plus the equality terms plus inequality terms okay so the constraint uh, minimum that is min minimize f of x for x min x max y max alpha uh, sorry max lambda max alpha l of x lambda alpha this is the unconstrained format okay so that is all about uh, lagrangian